Hi, right, how's it going, guys? Okay, so sorry for the audio, first of all. I'm still kind of working some things out. I'm eventually going to get a better microphone so I have some better audio. This is going to be my first tutorial on something that I ran into while setting up my arcade cabinet. Now, I'm not going to tell you where you can get your ROMs or anything of that nature. Uh, it's all pretty much out there. It's really easy to find. It is not hard. Um, you just gotta take the time to find it. But anyway, so one of the problems that I ran into with some of my games with Naomi, uh, which is an, uh, a system that uh, Sega had, so there's a lot of good arcade style games, especially from Japan, that never made it here to the US, but are some awesome games to play. That being said, one of the things that I run into is some of these were networked together. So that means it is looking for other systems for it to network with so you could play against other systems within the arcade. Well, of course, when you're running it from home, you're not going to want to do that. You're going to want to be able to play your game from here by yourself without having to network it. Problem being is it comes up with a screen that tells you that it's searching for a network slave. Now. It took me a while to kind of figure this out, but I finally figured it out and found out how to get rid of that. And so this video is going to show you how to get rid of that in case you should run into that problem. So first, I'm going to go and demonstrate and show you what happened. So we'll go and pull up Spawn over here in my uh, Demule emulator, which is what I use to emulate Naomi. So give me one second here. Let me get that pulled up. All right, so we'll go down here to Spawn because I know that's one of them right now that I haven't fixed. Here we are. So we'll go into Spawn and I'll show you what it does. And if you run into this, you might get frustrated too. So I'm gonna move out of the way of the camera just so you can kind of see what, what happens. So it starts up normal, Naomi. Says it's loading your game. Goes through, now it's telling you connecting network slave. It'll run through this twice and then it won't do it no more because it decides, well, there's no network. But here's the problem I don't want it to do that. I want it to go straight into the game. So here's how we're going to fix this. First thing you're going to have to do, you have to go into the test mode. After you, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Close this out. Go back. Go back into our Demule. All right, let's get back down here to where Spawn is. So what you're going to want to do is you're want to, going to want to go into test mode as soon as that Naomi comes up. So you're going to want to push F4 and that's going to bring you into test mode with Naomi. Now not all emulators use the same one. Some emulators use F2 for test mode. Some emulators use F4. This is also going to be where you're going to go to calibrate any of your light gun games like House of the Dead 2 and uh, things of that nature that run in Naomi. That's also where you're going to go to calibrate any light guns if you have. So let's go ahead and get started. So as soon as it comes up where the Naomi screen, you're going to push F4. And now as you can see, it's going to bring you in test mode. So here in test mode, you're going to push F2, which is going to get your little cursor going throughout the, uh, the menu here. So you're going to want to go down here to, i uh, just pass it, go down here to Game Test Mode, push F4 again. Now you're going to load into Game Test Mode. 
feel like I should be playing the Jeopardy song right now. Okay, so once you're in game test mode, you have three different options. Input test, game data, game configuration. You're going to want to go down to game configuration. So once again, you're going to push F2 to go down to game configuration. Push F4 to go into game configuration. Now, as you can see right here, it says network slave. So you're going to want to go down by pushing your F2 again. Push F2, 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 F2 down to network. Push F4 to turn that off. Now you've got some other things here that you can change. You can change the penalty time and damage level and all that other fun stuff. I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff right now. I'm going to go right down here to save and exit. We're going to go down here to exit. It's going to go back into your testing mode. Exit again. And now it's going to restart. Now remember earlier it said it was looking for that network before it would start up. Now it's not going to do that. So now as you see, the game starts right on up. And I can go ahead and start putting coins in. I can put coins in down in my coin receiver. It'll take coins, push the start button, and you're ready to go. You can play Spawn the arcade game. I'll choose Spawn. We'll go to a new game. I don't speak Japanese, so I don't understand what any of that is. The good thing about a lot of these games, even though a lot of it's in Japanese, you don't have to know Japanese to play these games. Honest and truly, they're a lot of fun. Anyway, so that's the video. Um, that's my uh, first tutorial. As I said, these are going to get better. Right now, we're kind of in the starting phase of this Opa's Arcade. Uh, YouTube channel. Uh, eventually this is going to grow to where I'm going to have my granddaughters here. Uh, I say granddaughters because I've only got one grandson. Unfortunately he's so far away he doesn't get to come play. So all I got is granddaughters right now. But I'm going to have my granddaughters come. They're going to play some classic games and uh, they're going to get to see. Hang on let me turn this down just a little bit. So they're going to get to see how the classic games are and give their reviews and we're going to discuss some classic games so that's kind of be what this channel is going to be about uh, and it's also going to include some of these tutorials I'm going to work on some tutorials for the aim track light guns as well uh, for things on some of the emulators that you might run into issues with that I know I've run into some issues with and you've got to really kind of dig to find some of the answers and so this channel is going to be how to do a lot of these things that I've run into to kind of help you guys out there in the gaming world, gaming community. Uh, I appreciate you for tuning in. I love the support that I've gotten on my uh, intro video. I think last I checked, I was at almost 300 views, which to me that's pretty awesome for a little thing, a uh, little little channel that I've got going on right now. But that, like I said, y'all take care. Uh, happy gaming, and hey, we'll catch you on the flip flop.